No centrifugal pumps from the outside. In this section, we'll look at them from the inside and focus on internal components. This is the third section of a four-section module on centrifugal pump principles. This section covers internal components. External components are visible. Internal ones aren't until the pump is drained and disassembled. Centrifugal pumps have six main internal components. The pump shaft, the impeller, wear rings, the volute, packing or mechanical seals, and bearings. The internal parts of a centrifugal pump are mounted on the pump shaft. It's a single piece of metal that's been machined to fit the pump perfectly. The shaft is usually made of stainless steel or some other corrosive resistant material. And for a very practical reason, replacing broken or worn out shafts is expensive. Some pumps have a shaft sleeve, or metal cylinder that fits over the shaft and protects it from damage. It's easier and cheaper to replace this sleeve than the shaft itself. This circular device is an impeller. The impeller fits snugly on the shaft and is usually pressed on. It can be held in place by several methods, but the most common is with a key and key way. The impeller is the most critical part of a centrifugal pump. Why? Because its size and shape and the speed at which it turns determine pump capacity. There are three types of impellers. Open, semi-open, and closed. Open impellers basically are vanes mounted on a shaft with just enough backing or shroud to keep the vanes rigid. Semi-open impellers are completely covered on one side of the vanes. Closed impellers have shrouds covering both sides of the vanes. They also have a central hole or eye on one or both sides. That hole lets fluid enter the impeller. Impellers are also classified as single or double suction. With single suction impellers, fluid can enter only one of the impeller's sides. That can cause problems such as imbalancing thrusts in the direction of the suction. In high volume or high discharge pressure pumps, that problem can be serious. It's resolved by using a double suction impeller. This type lets fluid enter both sides of the impeller. That makes the thrust generated on one side of the impeller counter the thrust from the other side. Pumps also come in stages, single or multiple. 